Yo what's good people it's Jay Cactus and in today's video I'm going to be working on a track from my upcoming instrumental album Timeless. Most of the tracks are quite soulful or have boom bap elements but there is a tiny bit of drill just not the style you'd expect. So this one I've got a few ideas in mind starting with some chords I've been working on but for some of the instruments I want to shout a couple of my musician friends to see if they can record something live in the studio and really bring the track to life. I'm really really close to finishing this album and I'm hoping it's going to be ready to pre-save by the 2nd of December so keep a lookout for it and let's get into the video. So yeah, I was playing around with some chords earlier and I think I've got a nice progression I can use. So I want to start with this piano. But I was leaving the bass notes on the bottom and then bringing the others up an octave. But we can make that more interesting too, we could add another note. Maybe add a bit of tension with another one. I like the sound of that and then I was coming up to C sharp. invert this one though then we can add this seventh it's two sound nice together and then i'm coming to the root note let's bring these up though then we can just build on that yeah there we go maybe a top note too yeah and then i just went to the g sharp from there so i can extend this and then just build a chord from here i'm gonna bring them up an octave though Okay, then I'm gonna copy this chord and maybe switch this bit up. Let's try to bring this bass note down. Yeah, that's what I had in mind earlier. I'm gonna make it more natural in a minute, but I want a top line first. I think I could even go higher with some notes. And maybe chop some of these too. Sounds hard. There we go. I'm gonna lower the velocity of everything. I just want it played kind of soft and then we'll randomize it and then I'm gonna go in and manually move notes just to make it way more natural. So here's what I've got. Sounds crazy. See when it's played lower, it just sounds so smoother. I'm just taking the, the main melody, I'm gonna keep the chords, but I'm pasting it into a pad. This is like the perfect pad for it. It's kind of like a pad and a choir blended. Then I want the chords to have one more layer, so I'm gonna add this electric piano in Analog Lab. So same chords, except I've just brought them a bit further on. So not everything's stacked. These bells are sounding sick too, I could definitely do something with this. So maybe just something to start it like that, and then at the end I could repeat that little counter melody. Yeah, there we go. I'm definitely hearing strings on this one too, so I'll see if I can record something in. So that's just a rough idea and I definitely want to get that replaced properly but for now I just want to add a couple more things. This sim sounds crazy. Yeah that's all that bit needs and then that can just repeat at the end there. I'm hearing some vocals now too so let's see what we can find. Sounds hard but it definitely needs mixing. I've just copied that so I could reverse it too and then just cut this section here. That's the one. For the bass, I might even use a few different ones, but for this first pattern, I'm gonna use this sub bass. And I'm just following the root notes here. I feel like it just fits the vibe nicely. So 
So I just copy that pattern out a few times. And then in this section, I'm just gonna have the piano, the pad, the synth, and then this electric guitar, which I found. And for this, I just chopped out the parts that I wanted and then reversed a few sections. Haven't really done any crazy mixing yet either. I just wanted to capture the vibe first. On the vocals, I just added delay and then I just filtered it out with RC20. Got some reverb on the guitar and then on the instrument bus, I'm just cutting the lows in some sections. really needs much more than that and then like I said here's where the guitar comes in see what I'm saying it sounds crazy this is just like a beautiful piece of music. But yeah, for the violin, I want to have something played in properly because you just can't beat live instruments. So I'm gonna shout my boy Alex and see if he's down for a session. Yo bro you down for a session on Thursday. Yo, what's good? So I'm here at Airtight Studios in Manchester and with my guy Alex. He's such a sick violinist. I've shown him the track and he's already got some ideas for it. I'm thinking this could even be the outro to my album, so it might not even need any drums. So I'm just going to let Alex do his thing and then we'll go Great, from so there. So we're going for the pizzicato piece first? Yeah, yeah, sure. So just give us a little bit of level on the pits. Sounds really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was sick. Perfect. Uh, so do you want to hear that there's another layer you want to hear? Yeah, yeah, there's like a middle layer. Can you play it with the track so I know like the rhythm? I think that's all we need for this one. All right, we're back. The violins are sounding crazy. Alex is so talented, man. And you can just hear how much of a difference a live violin actually makes. So yeah, I've got the stems here. I'm just gonna pick out my favorite parts and then mix them into the track. I like that one. Let's bring this one back. I like that one too. And then I'm gonna copy that over. And then in this section, the second violin can come in. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep those, they sound perfect. For the mix, I've got all the different layers. I've sent them to a violin boss, and then that violin boss is going to the same instrument boss. So yeah, let's just give them a quick mix. So I'm just adding a limiter, but this is basically a noise gate. So cut out the real noise. Then I'm just adding this EQ. I don't need that low rumble. Then I'm just taking this compressor. This is gonna level it out. A bit of delay would be nice too. It'll we'll bring some of that high end up with this fresh air plug in. And then lastly, it just needs a bit of reverb. This can be a bit further back. So yeah, maybe there can be a break of the violins and then it can come back in here. But instead of that section, it can be this one. This is so nice. And then in the second part, I'm just layering the pizzicato. So we've got the high layer and then the low one. All right, so I've got some transition here. I've just reversed the crash. There we go. Okay, so we've got this. Just 
need to make it a bit more natural. So in the same section, I want to build up a bit of energy. So I'm going to use this real drum kit from Contact. It's the Abbey Road Vintage Drummer. Let's play with the velocity too, and then we can bring this one in. The other thing I'm doing is just bringing the velocity up slowly. So these are a bit natural and then it's rising up here. So from there, I wanted to drop into like most of the instruments and then have some drums playing too. Start with a hat. As always, we need to just move them, make them more natural. Same with the velocity. perks too. So I've just switched up the snare at the end, it added a few crashes and now the end of the bar sounds like this. So man, I'm actually feeling these drums, but because it's going to be the outro to the album, I want this to be proper. I want the drums to be real and my guy AJ Hall will do a much better job. So I'm going to shout him to see if he's down. Yo, bro, you down to record some live drums on my new album. If I can spell. All right, sick, he's down. So I'm going to send him what I've made and then let him do his thing on the drums. All right, what up? My name is AJ Hall. I make drum breaks for producers. Today, I'm going to be tracking some drums on the J Cactus album. Let's go. Here we are at the kit. I have my 1960s Made in Japan kit up. Sounds real thick and chunky. Got my Zildjian crash up. I got my hi-hats from the 1960s. And yeah, man, let's track these drums. <laughs> All right, let's mix this bad boy. Add a little bit of this Black Rooster Audio plate reverb, some of this Arturia spring reverb on the master bus. Always have to have the bedroom producer's blog dirty filter. And the final touch, as always, roll tape. Let's see what we got. Let's send that off to Jay Cactus. All right, so it's been a couple days. I've just had an email from AJ Hall with some drums. So yeah, I'm gonna load them into the project and see what he's done. Oh, even that ride up sounds crazy. Oh my god. I haven't even heard it kick in yet, but I already know. <sighs> See what I'm saying? This guy is so talented. I even want to boost this up. This is like a perfect finish. Those fills as well. See what I'm saying about having the live violin and the live drums on this beat? It's like the perfect ending to the album. Let me know in the comments if you like the sound of it. 
and if you'll be getting timeless.